Tiếng Anh 6 Sách học sinh Tập 1 Student's Book Book 1 Written by Hoàng Văn Vân Tổng chủ biên Nguyễn Thị Chi Chủ biên Lê Kim Dung Phan Trí Nghĩa Lưu Quý Khương Vũ Mai Trang Lương Quỳnh Trang Published by Vietnam Education Publishing House and Pearson Education Produced by Hanoi Education and Development JSC And recorded by Pearson Education Copyright Vietnam Education Publishing House and Pearson Education 2020 Unit 1. My New School. Page 6. Getting Started. A Special Day. Activity 1. Listen and Read. Hi, V. Hi, Fang. Are you ready? Just a minute. Oh, this is Zui, my new friend. Hi, Zui. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fong. I live near here, and we go to the same school. Good. Mm, your school bag looks heavy. Yes, I have new books, and we have new subjects to study. And a new uniform, Zui. You look smart. Thanks, Fong. We always look smart in our uniforms. Let me put on my uniform. Then we can go. Unit 1. My New School. Page 7. Getting Started. Activity 4. Match the words with the school things, then listen and repeat. 1. School bag. 2. Compass. 3. Pencil sharpener. 4. Rubber. Five. Pencil case. Six. Calculator. Unit one. My new school. Page eight. A closer look. One. Vocabulary. Activity one. Listen and repeat the words. School lunch. English History Homework Exercise Science Football Lessons Music Unit 1 My New School Page 8 a closer look. One. Pronunciation. Ah and ah. Activity four. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the sounds ah and ah. One. Ah. Smart. Art. Carton. Class. Two. A. Uh, subject. Study. Monday. Compass. Unit one. My new school. Page eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Ah uh and ah. Uh. Activity 5. Listen and repeat. Then listen again and underline the words with the sounds ah and ah. 1. My brother has a new compass. 2. Our classroom is large. 3. 
They look smart on their first day at school. Four. The art lesson starts at nine o'clock. Five. He goes out to have lunch every Sunday. Unit one, my new school, page eleven, communication, everyday English, introducing someone, activity one, listen and read the dialogue, pay attention to the highlighted sentences. Fung, this is Zui, my new friend. Hi, Zui. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fung. Nice to meet you too. Unit one, my new school, page thirteen, skills two, listening, activity one. Janet, a student at Palmer School in America, is talking about her school. Guess the answers to these questions. Listen to the talk and check your guesses. Hi, my name's Janet. I'm eleven years old. I'm now in Year Six at Palmer School. I like it here. My classmates are friendly. The teachers at my school are nice and very helpful. And my favourite teacher is Mrs. Smith. She teaches us maths. I have two hours to study Vietnamese every week. I usually do my homework in the library. We wear our uniforms every day, but today we aren't. We are going to have a biology lesson on a farm. Unit one, my new school, page thirteen, skills two, listening. Activity two: Listen again and choose the correct answer A or B. Hi, my name's Janet. I'm eleven years old. I'm now in Year Six at Palmer School. I like it here. My classmates are friendly. The teachers at my school are nice and very helpful. And my favourite teacher is Mrs. Smith. She teaches us maths. I have two hours to study Vietnamese every week. I usually do my homework in the library. We wear our uniforms every day, but today we aren't. We are going to have a biology lesson on a farm. Unit two, my house, page sixteen. Getting started. A look inside. Activity one: Listen and read. Wow, your room looks so big, Nick. It's Eleanor's room. She's my sister. I see. Is there a TV behind you? Yes, there is. Where do you live, me? I live in a townhouse. And you? I live in a country house. Who do you live with? My parents and younger brother. We're moving to a flat next month. Are you? Yes, my aunt lives near there, and I can play with my cousin. Are there many rooms in your new flat? Yes, there are. There's a living room, three bedrooms, a kitchen, and two bathrooms. Unit two. My house, page eighteen. A closer look. One, pronunciation. Final sounds, s and z. Activity four. Listen and repeat these words. Lamps, sinks, flats, toilets. Cupboards, sofas, kitchens, rooms. Unit two, 
My house. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Final sounds. S and z. Activity five. Listen to the conversation. Underline the final s in the words and put them into the correct column. Mum, are you home? Yes, honey. I'm in the kitchen. I've bought these new bowls and chopsticks. They're beautiful, Mum. Where did you buy them? In the department store near our house. They have a lot of things for homes. Don't forget, we need two lamps for my bedroom, Mum. Let's go there this weekend. Unit two, my house, page twenty, communication, everyday English, giving suggestions, activity one. Elena and her mum are discussing how to decorate her bedroom. Listen and read the dialogue. Pay attention to the highlighted sentences. My bedroom isn't nice. How about putting a picture on the wall? Great idea, Mum. Let's go to the department store to buy one. Unit two, my house, page twenty-three, skills two, listening, activity one. Look at the pictures. Name each of them. Guess if they are mentioned in the listening text. Now listen and check your guesses. My name's Mai. I live in a townhouse in Hanoi. I live with my parents. There are six rooms in our house: a living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms, and two bathrooms. I love our living room the best because it's bright. It's next to the kitchen. I have my own bedroom. It's small but beautiful. There's a bed, a desk, a chair, and a bookshelf. It also has a big window and a clock on the wall. I often read books in my bedroom. Unit two, my house, page twenty-three, skills two, listening, activity two. Listen to Mai talking about her house. Tick T true. Or F false. My name's Mai. I live in a townhouse in Hanoi. I live with my parents. There are six rooms in our house: a living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms, and two bathrooms. I love our living room the best because it's bright. It's next to the kitchen. I have my own bedroom. It's small but beautiful. There's a bed, a desk, a chair, and a bookshelf. It also has a big window and a clock on the wall. I often read books in my bedroom. Unit three, my friends, page twenty-six, getting started, a surprise guest, activity one, listen and read. This was a great idea, Nam. I love picnics. Please pass me the biscuits. Sure. Here you are. Thanks. What are you reading, Fong? Fourteen. It's my favorite magazine. Look, it's Mai, and she is with someone. Oh, who's that? She has glasses and long black hair. I don't know. They're coming over. Hi there, this is my friend Cho. Hi, Hi Cho. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? We have lots of food. Oh, sorry, we can't. We're going to the bookshop. Bye for now. Bye bye. bye. Unit three, my friends. Page twenty-nine. 
A closer look. One. Pronunciation. B and p. Activity four. Listen and circle the words you hear. Then repeat. One. Pig. Two. Pear. Three. Buy. Four. Rope. Unit three. My friends. Page twenty nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. B and p. Activity five. Listen, then practice the chant. Notice the rhyme. We're having a picnic. We're having a picnic. Fun, fun, fun. We're bringing some biscuits. We're bringing some biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. We're playing together. We're playing together. Hurrah! 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 Unit three, my friends. Page thirty-one. Communication. Everyday English. Asking about appearance and personality. Activity one. Listen and read the dialogue between Linda and me. Pay attention to the highlighted questions. What does your best friend look like? She's short with long black hair. She has bright brown eyes. What's she like? She's very kind and creative. Unit three, my friends, page thirty-three, skills two, listening. Activity two. Listen to me and Ming talking about their best friends. Look at the picture below and say which one is Lan and which one is Chi. My best friend is Lan. She studies with me in class six A. She's tall and slim. She has short black hair and a small mouth. She's very active and friendly. She likes playing sports and has many friends. Look, she's playing football over there. Chi is my best friend. We're in class six B. She's short with long black hair and a big nose. I like her because she's kind to me. She helps me with my English. She's also hardworking. She always does her homework before class. Look, she's going to the library. Unit three, my friends, page thirty-three, skills two, listening. Activity three, listen to the talk again. Fill each blank with a word or number you hear. My best friend is Lan. She studies with me in class six A. She's tall and slim. She has short black hair and a small mouth. She's very active and friendly. She likes playing sports and has many friends. Look, she's playing football over there. Chi is my best friend. We're in class six B. She's short with long black hair and a big nose. I like her because she's kind to me. She helps me with my English. She's also hardworking. She always does her homework before class. Look, she's going to the library. Review one, units one, two, three, page thirty-seven, skills, listening, activity four. An and me are talking on the phone. Listen and fill each blank with one word. 
Why is it so quiet, me? Are you home alone? No, everybody is here, but they are in different rooms. Where's your mum? Is she cooking in the kitchen? No, she's watering the plants in the garden. And where's your dad? He's in the living room. What's he doing? He's listening to the radio. What about your younger brother? Is he with your mum? No, he's sleeping in my bedroom. My cousin V is here too. What's she doing? She's watching TV. Unit four, my neighbourhood, page thirty-eight. Getting started. Lost in the old town. Activity one. Listen and read. Wow, we're in Hoiang. I'm so excited. Me too. It's so beautiful. Where should we go first? Let's go to Chuakao. Well, but Tangki House is nearer. Shall we go there first? Okay, okay sure. sure. First, cross the road, and then turn left. Fine. Let's go. Wait. What's up, Fang? I think we're lost. Look, there's a girl. Let's ask her. Excuse me, can you tell us the way to Tang Ki House? Sure. Go straight. Take the second turning on the left, and then turn right. Thank, Thank you. you. Unit four, my neighborhood. Page forty. A closer look. One. Vocabulary. Activity one. Match the places below with the pictures. Then listen, check, and repeat the words. One. Square. Two. Art gallery. Three. Cathedral. Four. Temple. Five. Railway station. Unit four, my neighborhood, page forty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. I and e. Activity four. Listen and repeat the words. Pay attention to the sounds i and e. Noisy. Exciting. Expensive. Clean. Peaceful, convenient, cheap, friendly. Unit four, my neighborhood, page forty. A closer look. One, pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and practice the chant. Notice the sounds i and e. My neighborhood. My city is very noisy. There are lots of trees growing. The people here are busy. It's a lively place to live in. My village is very pretty. There are lots of places to see. The people here are friendly. It's a fantastic place to be. Unit four. My neighborhood. Page forty-three. Communication. Everyday English. Asking for and giving directions. Activity one. Listen and read the conversations. Excuse me. Could you tell me the way to the cinema, please? Go along this street. It's on your left.
Excuse me, where's the nearest post office, please? Go out the station. Take the first turning on the right. Unit four, my neighborhood. Page forty-three. Communication. Activity three. Nick is listening to an audio guide to Hoi An. Listen and fill the blanks. City tours. Let's start our tour in Hoi An. We are at Tran Phu Street now. First, go to Ong Pagoda. To get there, go straight along the street for five minutes. It's on your left. Next, go to the Museum of Sahuen Culture. Take the second turning on your left. Turn right, and it's on your right. Finally, go to Huan Yap Workshop to buy some presents. Turn left and then right. It's next to Tan Ki House. Unit four, my neighborhood, page forty-five, skills two, listening. Activity one: Listen to the conversation between Kang and V, and tick T, true or F, false. Where do you live, V? I live in the suburbs of Ho Chi Minh City. What do you like about it? There are many things I like about it. There's a big market near my house. There are also many shops, restaurants, and art galleries here. The streets are wide. The people here are helpful and friendly. What do you dislike about it? The schools are too far away. There are also some factories near here, so the air isn't very clean, and the streets are noisy and crowded. Unit four, my neighborhood, page forty-five, skills two, listening, activity two, listen to the conversation again and fill the blanks. Where do you live, V? I live in the suburbs of Ho Chi Minh City. What do you like about it? There are many things I like about it. There's a big market near my house. There are also many shops, restaurants, and art galleries here. The streets are wide. The people here are helpful and friendly. What do you dislike about it? The schools are too far away. There are also some factories near here, so the air isn't very clean, and the streets are noisy and crowded. Unit five, Natural Wonders of Vietnam, page forty-eight. Getting started. Geography Club, Activity One. Listen and read. Hello, welcome to our geography club. Come in, Elena. We're just starting now, but remember, you must always be on time. Sure. Sorry. Today, I'm going to talk about some natural wonders of Vietnam. Great. What's that in the first picture? It's Gen Da Dia in Phu Yen. Wow! It looks amazing. Is picture two Ha Long Bay? Right. What do you know about it? It has many islands. Yeah, the scenery is wonderful. This picture shows Ton Chau, a large island. How about picture three? Unit five, Natural Wonders of Vietnam, page forty-nine. Getting started. Activity three. Listen and repeat the words. Then label the pictures. One. Mountain. Two. River. 
Three. Waterfall. Four. Forest. Five. Cave. Six. Desert. Seven. Beach. Eight. Island. Unit five. Natural wonders of Vietnam. Page fifty-one. Pronunciation. T and d. Activity four. Listen and repeat the words. T. Mountain. Waterfall. Desert. Plaster. D. Wonder. Island. Guide. Holiday. Unit five. Natural wonders of Vietnam. Page fifty-one. Pronunciation. T and d. Activity five. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the bold typed parts of the words. One. Where's my hat? Oh, it's on your head. Two. Where do they stay on their holiday? Three. I need some meat for my cat. Four. The Sahara is a very hot desert. Five. I want to explore the island by boat. Unit five. Natural wonders of Vietnam. Page fifty-three. Communication. Everyday English. Making and accepting appointments. Activity one. Listen and read the short conversation below, paying attention to the highlighted parts. Zhuang, let's go for a picnic this Sunday. That's fine. What time can we meet? How about nine o'clock? Sure, I'll meet you at that time. Unit five, Natural Wonders of Vietnam, page fifty-five, Skills two, Listening, Activity one, Work in groups, discuss the question. What do you know about Phu Quoc Island? Listen to the talk and check your answers. Phu Quoc is a very beautiful island in Vietnam. It is in Kien Giang. It has beautiful beaches and green forests. It also has resorts, hotels, and bars. The people here are friendly. Phu Quoc has an international airport. And traveling there is easy. Tourists can visit fishing villages, national parks, pagodas, and temples. They also like to eat the seafood here. It is delicious. Sailing and fishing are popular water sports. You can buy interesting things at the markets on the island. Unit five, Natural Wonders of Vietnam. Page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again and tick T true or F false. Phu Quoc is a very beautiful island in Vietnam. It is in Kien Giang. It has beautiful beaches and green forests. It also has resorts, hotels, and bars. The people here are friendly. Phu Quoc has an international airport, and traveling there is easy. Tourists can visit fishing villages, national parks, pagodas, and temples. They also like to eat the seafood here. It is delicious. Sailing and fishing are popular water sports. You can buy interesting things at the markets on the island. 
Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 58. Getting Started. Happy New Year. Activity 1. Listen and Read. Bong, does Vietnam celebrate New Year's? Yes, we do. We call it Tet. When is Tet? At different times. This year, it's in January. What do you do at Tet? We clean our homes and decorate them with flowers. Is Tet a time for family gatherings? Yes, it's a happy time for everybody. Great! Yes, and another good thing about Tet is children get lucky money. That sounds interesting. Is there anything special people should do? We should say Happy New Year when we meet people and we shouldn't break anything. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 60. A Closer Look. 1. Pronunciation. S and SH. Activity 4. Listen and repeat the words. Shopping. Special. Rice. Spring. Wish. Celebrate. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 60. A Closer Look. 1. Pronunciation. S and SH. Activity 5. Listen and repeat the poem. Pay attention to the sounds S and SH in the underlined words. Spring is coming. Tet is coming. She sells peach flowers. Her cheeks shine. Her eyes smile. Her smile is shy. She sells peach flowers. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 63. Communication. Everyday English. Saying New Year's Wishes. Activity 1. Listen and read the New Year's Wish. Wishing you joy and laughter from January to December. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 65. Skills 2. Listening. Activity 1. Muen is writing to his pen friend Tom about how his family prepares for Tet. Listen and tick the things you hear. Dear Tom, Tet is coming and I'm very happy. We do a lot of things before Tet. We throw some old things away. We clean and decorate our homes. My mother goes shopping and buys food, red envelopes and peach flowers. She also buys new clothes for us. My father makes bang chung and cooks them on an open fire. He says that I should make some wishes at Tet and I shouldn't break anything. It brings bad luck. Yours, Mueng. Unit 6. Our Tet Holiday. Page 65. Skills 2. Listening. Activity 2. Listen again and answer the questions in one or two words. Dear Tom, Tet is coming and I'm very happy. We do a lot of things before Tet. We throw some old things away. We clean and decorate our homes. My mother goes shopping and buys food, red envelopes and peach flowers. She also buys new clothes for us. My father makes bang chung and cooks them on an open fire. He says that I should make some wishes at Tet and I shouldn't break anything. It brings bad luck. Yours, Mueng. Review 2. Units 4, 5, 6. 
Page 68. Language. Pronunciation. Activity 1. Listen and circle the word with the different underlined sound. 1. A. Seat. B. Wonders. C. Desert. 2. A. Cheap. B. Direction. C. These. 3. A. Show. B. Some. C. Sure. 4. A. Excuse. B. Busy. C. Cathedral. 5. A. Modern. B. Crowded. C. Celebrate. Review two, units four, five, six, page sixty nine. Skills, listening, activity four. Mai's family is talking to a travel agent about their trip to Singapore. Listen and tick T true or F false. Here we have a four-day program for you. Do we visit somewhere natural? Oh yes, we have two days for nature, one at the national park, and one day at the zoo. How about Sentosa? Sentosa is a must for families. We spend one day there. Is it enough? We start early and return late. There. We visit the sea aquarium. What is it? It's a zoo for fish. Great. In the evening, we will watch the light and sound show, and the last day is for.